welcome to another segment of Frankly Green Bay, where I go out and meet creative people, and I want you to meet them. I have the money doctor. That's right, Mike Iango. He has a great business in De Pere, and also he's a conductor, a musician, and an actor. Let's meet Mike Iango. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Iango, the money doctor. How are you, sir? I'm you good. You are famous through the land as the money doctor. We hear you on the radio, but a lot of people don't know that you are quite the talented musician. When did you start getting into this music acting thing? Well, actually, it goes back to high school. Of course, being in high school, you want to be the lead yeah. all the time, so I was back then. And Of course, went to college, got my degree in music education, taught high school band for five years. I did not know that. I did that. And... Uh, found out that that was not really what I wanted to do the rest of my life. In fact, what I wanted to do was write music for films. I, I thought I might be the next John Williams or whoever. Now, we all know that the Alloway Village Band is the, one of the coolest things in the community, that it's a free concert at the Meyer Theater. Tell us when you started uh, conducting the Alloway Village Band. Well, there's a little story there. Yeah. We used to be across the bridge here in the Irwin office building, and one of the tenants there was Bob Searing Jr., who now does a lot of, he has his own publicity studio and now works over at WTAQ. Um, and his dad, Bob Searing Sr., started the band. So he asked me one day, you know, my dad's getting a little bit older. Do you think you might be interested in getting back into the band thing? Because we had talked about my prior life. And I said, well, you know, maybe I'll come and observe. You know, I played French horn the first year, kind of just sitting in the corner, seeing how things were going. And after that, things seemed to roll pretty good, and I thought it might be a good fit. So the next thing I said, why don't we co-conduct for a while? So Bob Searing Sr. and I split duties for the first couple of years, and Bob was getting older, and gradually Bob faded out, and I took over. Well, you know, you bring a lot of um, local uh, musicians, actors, singers to do productions with you. I've got the opportunity and my wife to perform with you. Um, tell us about the upcoming Christmas program that sounds pretty exciting. Well, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're bringing a couple of, I guess you can call them professionals, into the, the group here. Mary Ellinger yeah. and Mark Silverberg, who have done some Broadway and off-Broadway and opera and stuff like that. So I always like for the Christmas concert to have couples. Uh, in the past, we've had Emily and Kent mm -hmm. Paulson have done it. Um, so it's going to be a great family concert, plus we're going to do something we've never done before. We're going to do the Hallelujah Chorus as a sing-along. So bring your scripts along, bring your scores, so that you can sing right along with us, because we're going to have a great time featuring the Hallelujah Chorus. Now, Mike, I want to add one thing. Now, I've, I've gone to the Alloway Village Band concerts. You're a pretty funny dude, man. You come up with, where do you get these corny jokes that you start what? with? What? Come on. Corny? Come on. <laughs> I spend hours you pouring do. over okay. the joke books to find that perfect joke. Well, you know, a lot of folks uh, know that he is a conductor, but he's also an actor. Uh, summer theater, music theater, you are in every production. Um, tell us a little about, bit about uh, your relationship and, and, and how you like to do that stuff. Well, you know, it was something I put on hold for quite a while. You might not know this, but I judged drum and bugle chords for 20 years. And really at the highest level. So mm -hmm. a lot of those national competitions all summer long. So I didn't do any theater in the summer at all for 20 years until about 2004. That's when Dudley and his crew over at St. Norbert were doing Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And I said, oh, I'll give it a shot. And the next thing you know, just sucked right into that. And I'm doing theater over there uh, pretty much every summer. You are a busy man, Mike. If you get a chance, get out and see Alloway Village Band or call the money doctor. I know I do. So if you're looking to do something fun, head out to Alloway Village Band for the Christmas concert. That's Monday, December 15th. 15th. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. And the price is right. It's free. Just a donation when you come in. Mike, thank you so much for having me. Or having you. Is that what I say? <laughs> something like Whatever. that. Join me next week when I bring you another creative person from Northeastern Wisconsin. <laughs>